Howdy, folks. It's Richard Jean here. You know, July and August are my two toughest months. And the reason is, crappie are really doing a whole lot of moving. And the reason why is because of the shad. In the three systems that I fish, the shad are all about the same size, about an inch to an inch and a quarter long. Now these little shad are thread fin shad and gizzard shad. Uh, they can, right now they're coming up on the surface. Okay. And some days they'll be four or five feet under the surface. Depending on rainfall, oftentimes, weather conditions, all this factors in to where those shad's going to be, their comfort zone. A lot of times, them little shad will be 10 to 12 foot deep. Now, that's what I focus on, especially July and August. And um, they can be, there's two different patterns that dominate, in my opinion, here where I fish in these three systems, and that is vertical jigging and boat houses or docks. Those are the only two that I'll really key in on, uh, especially these two months right now. And the reason is, is because of the shad and where they're located. Now, vertical jigging sometimes is the answer. Um, and sometimes dogs are. You can't really tell. You just have to get on the water and find out. And it's surprising how shallow of dogs those crappie will be on. And it's true. You know, sometimes I'll fish 15 dogs before I'll find a couple, two or three that are productive. And these couple, two or three that's productive are basically in the same depth of water as the previous 15 that I fished. Now this, I don't have an answer for. But I just know that it's just the way it is. So in other words, it's a lot of hard work in July and August. There's no telling. I've never kept up with it. How many docks I fish in a day's time? If I really want to, I could probably fish, I don't know, I don't know, a lot of them. I cover a lot of water, I fish real quick, and I hunt for those cropping. And um, that's actually what it's about. In July and August, a lot of hard work and dedication. Because the fact of the matter is, okay, those crappie has got to eat. They have to eat. In fact, their metabolism is higher in 90 degree water temp versus 50 degree much higher. They have to feed more often to keep their cells up. Their metabolism is real quick. Um, what it is and why they're hard to find and catch is because they're constantly on the move. They're really moving in July and August. So you have to move with them. You have to open your mind and be willing to work to catch them. I hope you enjoy the video. <laughs> Now here's a dock set up in nine foot of water. Let's try this one. There we go. There's a fish. Now if this is a crappie, it's a good one. Look here. Now the surface temperature is 88 degrees. Come on in here. I flip him in here. That's a good fish. 80, 88 degrees on top. And there's crappie under the docks. Look at there, what a pretty fish. That's a good fish right there. Good fish. Okay, folks. That's a good fish right there. It's a black crappie. Oh. You know, the surface temperature was really 89 degrees on top. Uh, the water depth under this dock is 9 feet, and it produced a fish like that. Let's let it go. 
there can be deep water patterns and shallow water patterns for cropping, just like bass. Let's catch another one. There we go. Come on in here. Whew. This is a six foot uh, dock right here, folks. And it's on the river. And there's a little black crappie. Six foot deep. Let's let him go. Come on in here. <laughs> oh, man. I just knew I was going to catch one right here. Let's let him go. I just get them kind of feelings. I can't explain it, but go on back in there. There we go. That's a good one. I was rubbing in post on that fish. Come on in here. I'm getting real ticky and deliberate right now because the bite's pretty hard. It's summertime. That water's hot. That water's up to, uh, we'll check it out right here. Golly. That's a good one. It's a good fish. Summertime crappie. That water's up to, uh, what's that say? 90. 90 degrees, six foot of water. And I'm rubbing these posts. Put one right through there. In other words, I'm coming down through there deliberately. That post right there, I'm touching it. Rubbing up against it. And that fish, uh, that last fish just picked it up. I can't stand that grazing stuff. I'm going to get back over there where it's real thick. See if we can't pick another one up. That's a pretty good little fish. There, Elmer. There we go. Come on out there. Uh-huh. Yep. Now we're getting on them. Let's let him go. I'm figuring out how to trigger these strikes. It's a hot out here, just the this wind is just it, I make you sweat. <laughs> Y'all know what I mean? Oh, I know y'all know what I mean. Like a steam, steam bath. I love it. There we go. That's a crappie. Come on in here. <laughs> I knew it. Good one. Oh yeah. It's a good fish right there. I'm tickled to death. Hot as it is, I'm tickled to death. Go on back. More. Let's see if your buddy's up under there. Side edge right there where I didn't expect him in a good one. What about that? He wasn't supposed to be in there. I was fixing to say, well, that's about the end of that dock. Time to go to the next one. And then he hit it. About the time I was fixing the reel in, boom. That was a luck fish. I could have missed him. That just goes to show. 
get on back in there. Just goes to show, don't think you know when you really don't. I'm hungry! There we go. Oh my, 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 my. We got him out. What do we got? Let's get him on out here in open water. Wow. That's a hard strike. I'm surprised that fish come on out of there. I'd like to see what he is. Always oh, a bass. Good spot. Spotted bass. Look at there. Now that is a pretty fish. The Alabama spotted bass. Come on in here, boy. Ain't that beautiful. On crappie jig. I mean, he whammed it. Look how pretty that fish is. going back okay folks that's the end of it today had a great time on the coosa river it was a beautiful day today i guarantee you a little hot but it's summertime it don't make any difference to me if it's hot cold windy it don't make any difference i love the sport of fishing it is second to none in my opinion uh skipping docks got it done today i had to skip a lot of dogs to find productive dogs, but it's worth the effort. Uh, that's part of fishing, the mechanics of fishing. And, uh, most of the fish was under docks, anywhere from six to eight foot deep of uh, water under the docks. And uh, suspended about halfway. In other words, about three foot under the surface. And uh, they were scattered, but you know, a lot of times, summertime fishing, you got to work if you want to catch them. And the Coosa River certainly is a great place to work. Like I said, it's a beautiful river system. And I want to thank y'all very much for watching. Come fishing for you.